Hey, uh, has anybody heard of Warhammer? Warhammer 40k? What about Space Marines? You heard of those? Hi guys, uh, check out another 2D shoot 'em up, shmup, pixel art, hand drawn, whatever you want to call it, arcade game, and uh, this one is Warhammer, and well, Warhammer based, and it's crazy. Uh, as you can see, when the music finally decided to kick in, it's metal as fuck, and it's got a lot of shit going on for it. Uh, the art style is, as I've said in several of these. One of those art styles I've played around with and the way that they designed everything is the way I would do it too and I was thinking about doing something like this for my own thing but I'm not sure what I'm doing yet and uh, I got some designs for a game like this. Anyway, so what I was saying is Warhammer, uh, what's it called? Something Daka, shoot 'em, loot 'em, guts and gory. I, it's got a weird name but it stands out. You'll see it. It's Warhammer. It's cartoony. It is orcs, ogres, goblins, whatever the fuck you call them. Uh, they talk funny and they have British accents, but they also talk like, well, mental patients. And um, yeah, it's a hell of a lot of fun. It's really crazy. And it's a shooter, side scroller, platformer ish, you know, the huge. And it's co op. And that's basically checks all the boxes I look for. It's funny, it's fun. It's got good art, it's got good gameplay, it's solid, and you can play it with somebody right next to you. Those are all good qualities to have in a game. And even if you don't know anything about Warhammer, you can still enjoy a game like this. Uh, for me, Warhammer started way back in the mid-90s. Uh, back in the old, Jesus, probably like ninth grade, eighth grade, uh, yeah, ninth grade, I guess. For first year of high school, eighth grade, ninth grade, right at that cusp. Doesn't matter. Right at the cusp. We're talking like... 97, 1997, 1998, so you probably weren't even born yet, and uh, Warhammer was this really cool thing with all these action figures that people were painting and making cool, like, sets and, like, all these huge tables, and I was like, I'm an artist and a nerd, and I've always been into that kind of shit, so when I discovered it, I was like, whoa, what is this? I want to do this. This is so cool, but then I found out that it's super expensive, it's super niche, and I was a poor kid, so... Doing Warhammer, painting stuff, having all the accoutrement you need to do that sort of thing. And then also finding out how complex the actual game was and how, like, involved that was. I just, I could never get into it other than to be a fan who looked at magazines. And uh, at those times, that's what we had. This was very, very early internet days. But we had, like magazines and hobbyist catalogs and shit and they would have like warhammer stuff in the back and paintings and people giving tips on what they do and this and that and i would always read those and i loved that but i never could actually get into warhammer so these days it's way easier to like find something and immediately get into it at any budget level and you're good you're part of the community uh, in the case of Warhammer, I've always just been an outsider looking in, going, oh, that's fucking awesome. I understand it. I get it. I like the lore. I like the stories. I like Space Marines and all the shit they did with the whole, like, concepts of characters and all that. I, I, I love the, the universe and, and everything. Just, it was out of, out of my league, so. But now we got video games, and with video games, you can play shit like this and not have to worry about painting figurines and spending $500 a month on paints and figurines and little accoutrements to go with them uh so here we have man i'm not gonna get this right I, I i'm not even gonna look it up i mean i have the game right in front of me and i'm that lazy it's warhammer fucking shoot em daka raka laka lootin gore splaka i don't know it's it's a crazy name and as you can see it's very like hand-drawn paper style uh this is just like a cutscene thing the actual game is more crisp and clean as you've seen but uh these are the styles of games that i strive to uh make a little bit of mix of things a little hand drawn a little you know bright but also like cool concepts and cool like content so anyway i always mix back and forth between talking about the game and talking about what i'm doing but that's just where i'm at right now i've been spending a lot of time making my own thing so 
when I'm playing these games, I'm also looking at them from a developer's point of view and trying to figure out which elements are like, oh, I want to use something like that. Let's figure out how they did that or whatever. So there it is. But this is a fun game. It's an arcade game. It is a couch co-op. Sit down, pop in, pop out, shoot them up, spend a few hours with the boys, with the kids, with the girls, with whatever. You know, I was playing with my wife. You know, so maybe if you're lucky enough one day to get a wife like me, he could be playing games with his wife. And uh, we both enjoyed the game. Uh, again, I if you watch my videos uh, in any regular sense, I've been recently making videos about indie games and pixel games and games that I play with my wife. And so I say this a lot, but it is a game that I play with my wife and she likes it and we've had a lot of fun. But the night that we played this, uh, we played like five different games throughout the night. And so we didn't put our all into every game and we were getting a little bit worn out and <clears throat> also just playing these games to test them, you know, get our get our feelers on because I picked them up off of the PlayStation uh, end of the year sale, which is always a good grab for, you know, cheap games that maybe you wouldn't normally grab or wouldn't normally play, perhaps. And lately I've been on a, you know, 2D co-op pixel games. What can I play on the couch with my wife? And those are the games I've been grabbing and they happen to be cheap usually, especially when there's a sale. And they also happen to be on sale a lot because usually they're not top sellers. So they'll be on sale for cheaper whenever there's a like end of the year sale. Therefore, here we are. This is one of the handful of games that I bought in a bundle of purchases that literally was like 20 bucks for like five games and you can't beat that so and honestly they were all bangers so i made videos about all of them and that's why i'm saying if i'm saying anything that i've been repeating it's because we played all these games in the same night in the same basically same session and so uh i didn't you know we didn't put hours into them yet but enough time to give you an initial hands-on review, be like, hey, this is pretty fun. This is what it is. Here's what it looks like. Here you go, if you like this sort of thing. Uh, right now in the background, you can see I'm changing the controls because you can custom map your controls. And I fucking hated the controls they had going for default. And little bonus side note, if you're playing co-op and you change your controls, uh, it changes it automatically for the other person too. So you guys can both have the same controls and you don't have to do it twice and that worked out for us because my wife did not mind the changes we were both like what the fuck it had like a jumping with the trigger and something like things that weren't natural and uh for me it was like no i need to press x to jump in a game like this so we had to change uh the controls around a little bit which is a great feature for any game like this so there you go they were thinking of the concealer um, also, it's Warhammer. It's, like I said at the beginning, metal as fuck. It's ogres. It's just shooting shit up and blasting and, you know, gore. So, there you go. You get, like, weapons and shit. You can level them up and you get different ones and unlock stuff. And the sort of usual things you would expect from a game like this. And all that being said, I will go ahead and leave you with uh, some gameplay. Uh, the whole gameplay session was about 45 minutes, and I'd say probably about 35 minutes of that would be uh, actual gameplay. So there you go. I'm going to condense it down to whatever this ends up being and leave it there. Uh, as far as future goes, again, this is a game that will be in the regular rotation for me and the wife now that we have a handful of games to play. Uh, there are like three now that stick out really well and are going to be like we're going to fight over which ones we're going to play because there are at least three that were really good and this is one of those so there you go action shoot them up shmup warhammer 40k blasting daca and uh i don't have a rhyme for that so there you go Blast and Daka, getting smacked. And uh, here's the rest of the game. Love you, boy.
Stick bomb time! Ha! Dice quick for brains! Ow!
the fucking boss fight is the band that's playing the song that's been playing in the background the whole time? Come on.